Hi everybody, Alex Shaker here, and this is the sixth video in the Game Website video tutorial series. I'm going to continue where I left off, and that is with Google's formula. So in the first five videos, I covered a little bit about Google, what high quality websites are, what does it mean when I say compelling, relevant, and dynamic content, how does Google determine whether people state or read or view, come back to over and over again, and how does Google determine whether people are sharing the content on their social networks? Now, what I'm going to talk about in this video is how does Google determine whether other good sites are referring to your website? Now, this is really about backlinks. I'm going to tell you the overall gist of what you need to be looking for and doing in Google when it comes to your backlinks. This is not comprehensive. I'm not covering everything, but I'm going to cover things in as much detail as I can in terms of what I think most people can implement on their own. When I say other good sites refer to, what does that mean? In Google's eyes, a good site is something that is authoritative and relevant to your content. I'll talk a little bit about what authoritative means but relevant to your content is also very important. So for example, if you have a site that is selling keychains, but you've got a link on a site that is a site about politics, that is something that Google is not going to find very relevant. What Google does is it's looking at the keyword signals from your website and comparing it to other websites where you have a link coming back to your website. If the main signals of the, of the variety of keywords that you have on your website matches up with the backlinks that Google is detecting, in other words, the keywords is very similar, you know, synonyms perhaps of, of your own keywords, then Google is going to determine that that is a relevant website to you. So even if it's a blog, if it's a blog about jewelry, that is relevant. If it's a, it doesn't have to be another e-commerce site. So if you're selling jewelry, for example, and you link to another blog that's talking about jewelry or even to another e-commerce site that's selling boutique uh, items or accessories for women or something like that, it is still relevant because it's related. But if it's something totally irrelevant, then even if it's authoritative, Google is not going to look at that as a good site, good backlink for your website. Having said that, you know, if you can get a backlink to CNN or highly trafficked, very authoritative site like that, or any of the news companies or an EDU link, those are always good. The authoritativeness of those sites is going to outweigh the relevancy. But again, for most people where you're getting backlinks, you want to look at the relevance. Now, the other thing I want to point out is that if you have multiple links from one website, that's not as good as having one link from a hundred different websites. So a hundred links from one website is not good as a hundred different links from different websites. Uh, Google looks at something called the PR value of sites to determine how authoritative it is. PR means page rank. Now to determine what is the page rank of a site, you can just Google, how do I find page rank? And you'll be able to find the PR of the sites where you have links. You can even find the PR of your own website. And that is one way that Google determines the authoritiveness of your website and your links. Link quality. So like I said earlier, a link from CNN versus a link from Joe's news blog. You know, CNN has a PR or page rank of nine. Maximum page rank you can have is 10. Joe's news blog may have a PR rank of zero or one. You know, a link from CNN is gonna be worth a lot. Links from US sites. If you're a US based website, that's going to be a lot more relevant for you. U.S. sites are going to be worth a lot more in terms of your authority than links from foreign websites. So this is something you have to be careful of getting links from foreign websites because if you have too many of these, and particularly if they're not relevant, Google is going to penalize your website for that. So when you're thinking about buying backlinks, like you, you see all these ads at Fiverr.com, for example, where you can buy a bunch of ads. I wouldn't advise it because a lot of those backlinks are going to be foreign backlinks that are not relevant to your website and it's actually going to hurt your website more than help. So be very careful of that. The site should be relevant and you know Google will stretch that a bit. Like I said earlier, if you're selling jewelry, a blog about jewelry is fine, even accessories 
that are related to jewelry is fine or even other e-commerce sites is okay but you don't want to have for example a link to a horse betting site or links to something that is completely irrelevant to your niche anchor text for example if you're a plumber the anchor text is something that does make a difference and Google is going to look at that you see what's happening here that link is going to rotor rooter in Dover Delaware so if the anchor text that is linking to your website on other websites has your keyword that's going to help your website rank for that keyword so in this example the link best plumber Dover is going to this rotor rooter in Dover Delaware that is going to help rotor rooter in Dover Delaware rank for this keyword best plumber Dover in Google so by the same token the, the links that you ask for or get on other websites should match as close as possible to your keyword now I have to warn you about that because you don't want to overuse the same anchor text because if you have a hundred of these texts on other websites that have the same anchor text best plumber Dover Google is going to penalize you for that they will read that as someone who is artificially trying to manipulate the link uh, within Google so be careful use uh, synonyms so maybe you want to say something like most reliable plumber in Delaware rather than Dover things like that you know just I'm sure you can think of a lot more synonyms than I can that, that's my advice things you should not do all right don't create backlinks too quickly if you create backlinks too quickly Google's gonna read that as being artificial for example there are SEO companies that you can hire that will build you a thousand backlinks within a few days that is not advisable it used to work five years ago where the more backlinks you had the higher you would rank it does not work anymore you, you need to create backlinks that look as natural as possible now don't stuff a page with your keywords there used to be a time it's it's a while now where you could put best plumber Dover best plumber Dover repeated a hundred times on a keyword on a page and all of a sudden that page would start ranking high in Google Yahoo and Bing that absolutely does not work anymore if you do that Google and all the other search engines will penalize you uh, make your content deep in other words have a lot of text on there usually the more text the better make it extensive don't repeat the same sentences over again don't get spam links or paid links don't pay somebody to build you massive number of links the links have to be from a real website that gets real traffic just like what I said earlier relevant to your niche also this is not commonly known. Avoid putting ads on your site, like AdSense ads. Uh, I keep running across people that still want to put AdSense ads in their site, and I cannot understand why they do that. It only hurts your rankings. There's no reason to do that. Why would you want somebody to come on your site and then click an AdSense ad and go somewhere else? You want them to buy stuff on your site, not somebody else's site. Don't copy material from from another site. Google knows when you've copied material from uh, somebody else's site. You can go to copyscape.com and the copyscape can tell you whether or not the material on your website is copied anywhere. And by the same token, they can also tell you whether or not any other website is copying your material. Last bit of advice don't use site builders like Wix, Web.com, GoDaddy Website Builder. Google knows when you've done this. Google recognizes these as cheap websites, people who are not really willing to invest in their website, th that are not serious about their business. So you won't see a lot of Wix, Web.com, or GoDaddy Website Builder websites on the first page of Google. In fact, if you see it, it'll, it'll only be because they have very low competition for the type of uh, keywords that they're ranking for. So avoid that. Build a WordPress website. WordPress has an SEO-friendly framework, and it's relatively cheap. To get it built and i hope this is helpful to you and there's going to be a lot more stuff that i'm going to bring to you and uh, i appreciate you watching all the best take care my friends